You know what? Let <laughs> as soon as I learn to type. Let's play let's play Prince of Persia. This is a classic. It's hard, but I've beaten it before. So in theory, I should be able to do it again. All right, through this guy, um, who's white and blonde for some reason, but don't worry about it. And we got thrown in the dungeon because we want to marry the princess, but then Shafar was like, "Nope, I'm I'm a tap dad." Does anyone here not know about Prince of Persia? I did play Karate Cop for a bit, you know, recently, so I guess this is like that, but upgraded. <laughs> Kinda. So this kind of started the cinematic platformer genre, which is to say, there's a whole lot of like story going on. Excuse the flashing, and uh, your character moves realistically, which is to say, they're not the most responsive thing in the world. But you can get used to it if the game is made well. You can get used to it, and you can just be all athletic over here. No! <laughs> and that's what happens when you're not, like, precisely correct with your things. I just wasted a minute! I just wasted a minute, y'all! There's actually a speedrun trick that I pulled off, like, once when I tried it repeatedly. Um, but it means you don't have to do this level. You can just jump right to the end. Played a demo of one of the later games. Would that be like the Sands of Time era or like. You really gotta like memorize the layouts here. Sorry, that will not be happening again until the end of the game. Unless I die again, in which case. I should probably just stop being a streamer. No, nope. Prince, where are you going? Ah, streamer tax. So you gotta be careful with your placement and stuff. Prince of Persia 3D, oh no. That game's not good. So there's combat in this game. Uh, that guy is, uh... You know, he just got his guard license, so... We can excuse him for not being much of a challenge. Hi, Wario! Meanwhile, the princess is here. The hourglass is ticking down, cause uh, if we don't save her within an hour, she's gonna die, and that's bad. Mm -hmm. 
He's only two days away from retirement. Well, he shouldn't have been working for Jafar. I think it's actually pronounced Jafar, but Jafar sounds cooler, so. Ow. <laughs> Gonna not get caught by that floor tile. Here we go. Let's regain our health. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, no, not over here. Uh, I believe there is um, a health increase, maximum health increase potion on this level. Maybe I missed it, which would be inconvenient, but. Yeah, I guess there was just a whole Arabian Nights thing going on at the time, because this is before Disney's Aladdin. But then there was also, like, the Thief and a Cobbler, so, I don't know. <laughs> there it is. Big Potion. Gotta be careful with that, but when you can do it, you can go all the fastness. Cause I know English. Level two is really big on just being like, all right, learn to fight. You're gonna need to learn to fight if you wanna play this game. You need to know to hold shift to hang on to a ledge, because otherwise, you can't beat that level. <laughs> so that really teaches you, read the manual. Read the manual to the game, or you will be screwed. So in earlier versions of the game, this was the same color as the previous levels. I guess they figured it would be an easy way to make it feel like you're progressing if they change the colors around a bit. I, I, that always tricks me the first time. <laughs> whoop. And whoop. Uh oh. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't be rosy. As you might expect, like, you know, there's a big speedrunning community for this game. This game that you're already supposed to beat in an hour, although, you know, you can save your game and take considerably longer than that to actually beat it, but... And now we gotta run. Ah, yes, our first one of these. These things are terrifying. And you gotta remember, this is like one of the first games I ever played. <laughs> Seems to be a theme on our streams lately. So I was very little and it is very bloody when you get hit by that thing. So to this day, these things make me hella nervous. 
even though it's like not that hard to get through there most of the time. Here's our first special battle. So we can't kill this guy because he's already dead. So we're going to have to put him over the ledge. And if the prince would actually start blocking, that'd be pretty cool, I think. So that's pretty cool because it forces you to, you know, advance instead of waiting for the guard to like come towards you which you know might end up being a bad thing in the long run anyway because you don't want to you don't want to waste time and something similar in the first two tomb raiders This level is like a little non-linear, I think. There's some, there's some wacky stuff you can do on this level. If you like duck at the right time, you don't get hurt by falling ceilings. I don't think that's an intentional mechanic. It might be, but I can never freaking pull it off. <laughs> like I said, scary AF. That's what happens sometimes. Even though you're not standing in it, they'll get you anyway. God damn it! You're starting to piss me off now, game. I'm trying to look cool over here and you're ruining it! You're ruining it, it always gets ruined! Video games on stream are like Ash bringing that haunter to fight Sabrina.
See, now I'm just scared. It did technically beat her. Yeah, but it was being a bad friend. Did I miss something? How do I open this? Where are you closed? I guess somehow I didn't hit that this time. <laughs> Silly crap. Okay, you know what? You know what? We're just gonna play it real safe right about now. Now obviously that guy's not gonna come at us through that. It is totally possible to like get on the other side of a guard and then put him in the chopper but i've never freaking managed it like I'm like once maybe by accident but whenever i try it they're just like no you stay right there and then they they stab you so that doesn't work hello tyran hello banana man I'll get you, Banana Man. Ow. The banana got me. That's not very potassium of you. Let's heal. I don't think there's any more dudes to fight, but you know. You gotta heal yourself before you squeal yourself. This level is very fun of these things. No. How am I going to get through this? Hmm, that was weird. Anyway. Mysterious. Take care of him. Oh boy, two choppers, but there's a life potion up there. We want that, that's good. So I'm gonna rise to the challenge, and then I'm gonna get that. Hey, wait a minute. Hey, that's, that's, that's rude. Stop that. That shadow just took my freaking drink. Now he's just down there, hanging out.
Your dude's played by Red Brown, because why not? I don't uh, seem to recall. Damn it. Thinking about Red Brown killed me. That's what it is. Shadow is a metaphor for capitalism. You're gonna have to explain that one to me. Red Brown's so hardcore, he kills you if you think about him. Is that what happened to Spoonie? I'm always scared I'll cut off my nose somehow. I'll get him this time. Hey, give, give that back. Give it, give, give, give it back. Hey! What a cock. Okay, this time around, you're not gonna go down there because that makes me mad if you do that. So I'm gonna need you to stay up here. Like that. That's what we want to see. This palette layouts goes, this kind of seems impractical. Uh, Jafar probably like magic did that way. Or, you know, maybe, maybe if there's not all these, like, weird traps there for a normal visitor, it's actually pretty normal. But because we have to, like, take all the back routes, it's like, oh, man, weird place. No! What the hell? I stopped! I stopped, man! What the fuck? Oh, we're wasting so much time! This game do be like that. I mean, it's when you say input lag, it's usually like, oh, there's something wrong with the hardware or software, but this game's just, this game's supposed to be that way. All right, third time's the charm. I'm gonna get that motherfucker. Don't you, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Pitch. He just keeps stepping in and being like, all right, this time I'm gonna need you to not stab me. I'm telling you not to, ow. No, you can't, you can't stop the shadow. Come on, banana man. That's what you get. That's what you get for being a banana. Uh, okay, another guy.
This one's more like a... I don't know, like a melon, perhaps? And just this weirdly straightforward ending to the level. Hey, Bobbles. <laughs> Meanwhile, the princess still has a bunch of pillows. And it's important. Uh, I don't remember what to do in this level. Not go over there, I guess. <laughs> some some rooms are just like random dead ends, and it's just like I think it's just there to make you feel smart when you know like I don't go there. You can totally like run and jump over this, but I'm just not gonna do that because that will happen. You know, most of the time that's what happens to you. But you know, you could, you could in theory do it right. <laughs> like that. And then not this. I don't know why I keep doing that wrong. I'll get it eventually. you close that's illegal it's the fat man he's the one who made all the music for those pot pot games uh oh <laughs> he's a little stronger He's a little better with the sword. Prince, I was pressing up. I was pressing up, bro. You gotta stop. You gotta stop with the shit. You gotta do this. You gotta stop messing around, bro. Got him. Why would you throw lemons at people? What's the purpose of that? All right, all right, buddy. I'm gonna need you. I'm gonna need you to not screw me here. Is that a thing in the south? To throw lemons at people? There's a guy here, he's got a beard. He's got a one pixel goatee. Okay, this one is a bitch.
<laughs> Not this time, my friend. I have messed that up so many times. Okay, that's kind of not fair what you were doing there, buddy. Green potion. I wonder what this does. It makes the gravity go slow. Wheel. Now we can safely go to the down place. So, um, I avoided a bunch of traps there that would close doors on you or gates, and then you would have to do a way longer way around. And somehow I managed that on the first try for once. The princess is a little mouse friend. They just finished a musical number, probably. All right. This is where we're gonna fight a pretty annoying boss. Uh, at least I thought it was here, but this actually seems to be a f okay. Yeah, no. This dude, he he does not. He only counters. He does not come towards you. You will have to fight him. You will have to be on the attack every single time. And somehow I did that on the first try. <laughs> yep. These things are fucking scary, fucking scary, fucking scary. Mm -hmm. Alright, I believe what's about to happen here is... Okay, that, but... We're gonna have to go this whole freaking way around, and it's gonna be yo annoying. Fucking trying to trick me there, game. Like, I don't know why this particular part of the dungeon has all these guards and shit. Like, where, where's the other prisoners at, yo? Okay, so this dude in the next screen is a bitch because he's right there and he knows you're coming. It might be possible to like sneak by or something, but I don't know. But basically... Yeah, cool, right? Sigma designed his dungeon. Maybe. Maybe these guards are all infected by the Maverick virus. See, now I'm gonna like screw this up repeatedly. Even though I was doing so well before.
It was closed! It was closed. Y'all saw that, right? Y'all saw that, right? Bum 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 Still don't know why you can just like <laughs> go in like that, but okay. So I think what we have to do here is and that's the only way because otherwise he's just going to kill you immediately. No! Prince! You dumb fuck! This is gonna make things a little difficult. Why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? I'm fucking pressing up, you asshole. There. Gonna have to play this real careful. Mm -hmm. No, damn it. <laughs> damn you. Come on, this level, th this level sucks. This game has 12 levels, although it's, it's like, 
Yeah, it's got 12 levels. <laughs> I'm absolutely going to run out of time now. This is definitely where, like, the game's just, like, really hard. Like, no way around it. The last few levels get a little nuts, but I rarely have ever gotten that far, so... Like, I think the only time I've actually ever gotten past this level was the run where I beat the game for the first time. Which was, uh, last year, I think. And that was a great moment in Rosie history. Prince! For fuck's sake, dude! What is your goddamn malfunction? I'm pressing the goddamn up key every time. Yeah, no, it wasn't on a stream. That was just me playing the game myself. <laughs> Oh god. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Oh no! He died on the tile and now I can't press it again. Like, you'd think that I would make it stay open, but that's not how that works. For some reason. <laughs> well. I am so not going to be able to beat the game in 20 minutes. So this might be a two-parter. The game basically trains you here to be like, oh, you gotta press up, bro. And I'm like, yeah, but sometimes it just don't happen. It's not my fault. I'm pressing at the same fucking time every time. K 
Can you quit it with the blocking, please? You were like the least important part of this level. You know, it's kind of funny if this guard doesn't realize that like, oh, I heard some footsteps and then they went away. I wonder if maybe he's sneaking around in the, into the only direction he could possibly go, which is behind me. Meow. 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 Ha ha! I wonder if it's possible to be fast enough to just kill him in one go. Please don't tell me that that's gonna, like, screw me now. Okay. No! Not again! Not again! Every fucking time- It forces you to jump through, you have no choice. Although I guess that guy's like lying on the goddamn tile now, so maybe I do have a choice in this particular case, but like, fucking hell, dude. Hey, what's up? <laughs> By the way, did you guys hear about my, my stream from last night getting copyright claimed? It got blocked in all countries because apparently uh, Mega Man X4 is secretly an Indian cooking show. I don't know how that happened. Fuck you! Fuck you, Prince, you fucking blonde piece of shit! Yeah, I, I haven't a goddamn clue. Like, the, the segment that was like, oh, this is copyrighted material. Like, more or less coincides with a certain song in the game. And it was just like, did they like, did they like steal that song for a cooking show? And then that happened. But the thing is, you can actually find the episode of that cooking show that that's supposedly from on YouTube. I skimmed through it and I did not find any Mega Man music. Not that I understand why, you know, a cooking show would have, like, the dramatic, tense dialogue music from X4. <laughs> other chopper you can just run through in this level well except the one at the beginning but and that one I guess The thing is, this is like one of the best versions of this game because it's basically like, hey, what if the Apple II version was prettier, you know? 
and they're like there's a lot of ports that you know didn't have access to the original source code or had to run on weird hardware so you just get like you know this game but even less responsive or the collision is even funkier and just shit like that you know But then there's also some cool ports like the Super Nintendo version, which like adds a whole bunch of new levels and shit. It also makes the time limit twice as long to compensate, so. Yeah, no, whatever. Don't, just ignore my controls completely. Just don't even. You know what? Fuck it. Why, why is there this random evil potion here? What's the point of that? Wee! That's the real way to get to the exit. <laughs> Alright, fuck that. Fuck that for now. We're gonna come back to this next time. And I'm going to load my save so that I don't have, like, no time left. I think if you wait, the, the game will bleep at you. Like that. I think maybe even if you wait long enough, it just, like, times you out and goes back to the title screen. I might be making that up. I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, like... This game's good, but it's balls hard. And it really is no wonder that it took me, like the better part of 30 years to beat it. <laughs> of course, it's not like I was playing the game that whole time, you know, I, I had other shit to do. And then there was a whole period where I couldn't play DOS games anyway, because, you know, Microsoft decided to not have DOS anymore in their windows. Which, you know, is, is probably, like, a good thing for, like, Making your operating system good, but it's not like they ever do that. They always just find new ways to shit it up. You played nothing but this game. That's not true. You know I've played many other games.